Don't forget to fasten the wrist strap, everyone. No wrist strap. I thought we discussed this last time. Stupid wrist strap. <laughs> Nobody likes you. Oh. Hello, everybody. This is Miles Luigi. And this is Evil Pop-Tart. Yes, I hate that stupid wrist strap. I'm not an idiot. Welcoming... I can't let go of the controller. Welcoming you back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. So I do unfortunately have bad news. Uh, Gary Tor kind of had to take a second job, and that's been really, really super harsh on her schedule. So, uh, basically, we're not able to get our scheduling all worked out, which is sad. Sad day. Oh, no. So, yeah, it'll be me and Evil Pop-Tart for a bit. So, welcome back to this uh, conversation. Yes, you let Another... me off having a cliffhanger. Damn it, I want to read this. <laughs> so, Mr. L is their new minion, and he is uh, quite feisty, arrogant, and Luigi. familiar. Mm. I don't know why he's familiar, though. He kind of looks like Luigi. That might be it. I can't tell. I don't know. His L's backwards, he's wearing a mask, and he's wearing a black suit, so it's kind of hard to tell. Mm, I think he might be reminding me of Waluigi more, but I don't know. A anyway, anyway. Uh, this is actually going to be our first post-commentary episode. I don't plan on doing these too often, but we're going to be going on a big, giant side quest that I think took me a half hour. Oh, God. And I have it... What? I've got... I've got it edited down here. What? Well, thank you for editing it down, but what? Yes. Uh, it's a giant-ass side quest. And I'm going to take that giant-ass side quest as an opportunity for me to talk about Paper Mario Sticker Star. Because the game's been out for a little bit, and chances are some people want to know my opinion so far. And even though I haven't beat it, I think I can give a pretty decent opinion the edited piece on it. But that won't start from until we get to this giant-ass side quest. <laughs> you got a hot date with me feet! Uh, I like how fast all the villains are to get back at Mario, because they've all been defeated so far. Ciao. What the Did hell I is the spider woman I thought we killed her. You do, do know there is no death in the uh, Mushroom Kingdom world, or universe, whatever. This isn't Borderlands, they don't re get reborn at a new U station. <laughs> This plot's going to start to really, really thicken with this um, uh, conversation between Nastasia and uh, Count Black. Basically, it's getting down to the point, why in the world did Count Black start the destruction of all worlds? Wow, some personal conversation going on there. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Can't help but think that Nastasia is concerned for the end of all worlds, even though she's a bad guy. So the side story, the plot thickens. Dun, dun, dun. The plot does thicken. Yeah, we've got five hearts. Everybody's <laughs> all excited. It's like, yay! When can we go home? Yay! Tippy's happier. Twinkle. Or Tippy is more happy. Twinkle yeah, saved her from. Tw Save Twinkle from Francis. It's like, oh my god, you're so great. You saved me from that psycho maniac. You saved me from that pervert. <laughs> Someone had to say oh, it. Oh, it's Merlon. What's he want? Uh, he wants to know what's going on. You'd imagine with him being 
the all-powerful magician or whatever, he would be able to foresee that we got the pure hearts before we came back, but I guess not. But, oh no! Oh. Tippy randomly fell over, kind of, sort of, not moving. Kind of moving. Kind of, sort of, not moving. just got hit by a friggin' bolt of lightning! Boom! So, gasp! What does that mean? Tippy was not always a pixel. She is only a pixel. As the game's just about to explain. Because she was barely alive, and Verlon found her and needed to do desperate ma measures. Wow. Yeah, just imagine you just got reborn as a butterfly because someone nearly killed you. That's the situation Tippy's in. Oh, look at Bowser. Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on, man? Yeah, yeah, game. I could leave my game on overnight. That void's not going to grow for until I progress the plot. Thank you. <laughs> well, that sucks. Twinkle's out of action now, and how the hell are we supposed to tattle stuff? Uh, tattling is out of commission for the time being. This is the so... second time they've taken that out of mechanic. Then why do you even have it? Or at least have some secondary way of doing it. But obviously they're probably not too concerned with it, because I wouldn't be doing it at all anyway. Screw it. She's kind of a useless pixel anyway. Eh, being able to tattle can help. I suppose because this is a live-action game, enemy weaknesses aren't exactly as, I guess, coherent or concrete. Yes, sure, some enemies may have weaknesses, but it's... I guess not as... Yeah, necessary. Uh, it's not a necessary necessary. like it was in Thousand Year Door. Yes, exactly. Thank you for completing my thoughts. So... Reading this will reveal a secret! That's... there's something behind the wall, and this guy wants to talk to me really, really bad. It looks like he's humping you. Oh god, get off of me. Why is he I need to get out in 3D. Get away. I'm sorry, he just did. He was moving his hips like... So what is hidden back here is a sanctuary. A giant sanctuary that no one in town knows about except Merlon. Sanctuary for Jesus. And a shell. This is called the Mirror Hall, actually. So, we are greeted with the Mirror Hall with one of these types of puzzles, where you hit one block and it turns a whole bunch of blocks on and off, and we have to find the combination or work with it enough such that all the blocks turn on. I hate those kind of puzzles, but okay, whatever. So, I gotta be perfectly honest, my approach to this puzzle is just to keep hitting blocks till I manage to get them all on, which is definitely a uh, <laughs> situation where this puzzle could theoretically take me a really, really long time. One of the reasons this post commentary is because I didn't want to be here and be like, uh, which one do I hit now? Which one do I hit now? Which one do I hit now? So, basically I throw this in fast forward pretty shortly after I show off. Yeah, this takes me a while, and there isn't any anything real interesting in 3D here. There's probably a really simple way to do this puzzle, too. Except like the stained glass some... windows. Sorry not to cut you off, but the stained glass windows are important. It shows our four characters of... Yeah, it shows all of our mer characters. You're right. Sorry. That actually turn. is something important. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> I was going to say, I saw it. I was like, ooh, four characters. Uh, this puzzle was so annoying. When I first did this puzzle, I didn't go to the back of the room. I thought you just had hit the first four blocks. And I was wondering why it wasn't doing anything. Then I was like, oh, there's blocks in the back. So yeah, I'm, like, I'm expecting someone to post a video response showing them solving the puzzle in the least number of hits possible. I magically did it! Look at that! I broke a mirror doing that. Mario, you have to replace the mirror. It costs 5,000 coins. No, now you just broke a mirror. Now you got 100 years of bad luck. Actually, something interesting happens. We broke the mirror, we just went on the other side of the mirror. What do you think that means? It's a mirrored world. It's another world. You're correct. This is Flopside. Flopside flip is the side. mirror image of Flipside. Flip flop, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flipside? Flopside. Flippity flop, flippity flop. You already got the pun. <laughs> The difference here is, you remember how everyone was really happy in Flipside? Everyone in Flopside is really sad. Well, that makes sense. And the music sense. is more depressed. Yes, that makes a ton of sense. But I'd like you to think of a couple of the consequences of there being a Flopside, with it being a complete mirror of Flipside. Can you think of any? 
I'll show off some. Uh, yeah, there's the different characters are not the same. I take it? Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, I'm certain if I go to the artist, he says something completely different than what that guy says. Uh, I would have to go talk to the other artist. One of the things I'm going to show off right now is that we have a second cook. And the second cook will cook um, two items. She'll actually only take two items. You have to go to the cook and flip side if you want to cook only one item. And she is an angry cook. Oh, yes, yes she is. Schnitzel! <laughs> Hot fun. You bring two ingredients and then we make you treat, baby. On the wing cookie. Oh, she's German or Swedish. <laughs> All right. Are we going to look forward to the cooking episode? Hum, where you come, you not? Yes, I'll just have to do my crappy German slash Swedish chef voice every time you go here to cook something. Yeah, there's also a shop that sells other stuff than the uh, Flipside shop sells. Why don't we go in it? Also, the shopkeeper is really rude. Not so bad a day to you. Well, thank you, asshole. You're supposed to say great day. And instead of saying, what are you buying? He says, what do you need? He's so rude, you know? Anyway, I think I'm selling some of my items here. Also, we don't need this Ultra Shroom Steak wasting inventory space. I'm not going to use it, you know? That's something you save. <laughs> I would know. I haven't seen you use a single item other than just to kill things yet. Well, I did use that one Super Shroom Steak in 4-4 uh, because I was acting really aggressively and playing really aggressively. Andrew. But another one of the consequences of there being a flop side is that there is this guy. And he does what? Well, he looks like Merlon, but he's not Merlon. Y'all know who he is? He is... Merlot? Well, oh, he's still explaining what the hell going on. We figured out that we're in Flopside. Come on. He is... Nolrem. Nolrem? What the hell? Nolrem. I'm just going to call you Manstash 2. <laughs> It's like Thing 1 and Thing 2. Yep. And Stash 1 and Man Stash 2. Did you get the pun on Old Rem's name? Mm -hmm. You know, you flip flop Merlon's name and oh gosh, you should have really figured that out really yes, easily. Yes, I did. I saw that. That's why I said I'm just going to call him Man Stash 1 and Man Stash 2. So another thing, the rest of the Pure Heart Pillars are going to be in flop side instead of flip side. They're actually going to be in locations that are similar to the flip side Pure Heart Pillars. For example, there's one on top of the tower, and that's the one we're going to go to. But uh, basically, that's just the game's way of saying, well, you kind of already explored all the flip side outskirts. Now you should uh, go explore all the flop side outskirts, except you can't get to places because you don't have the pixels or the characters to get there. Grr. Okay, are they going to recycle content, though? Kinda, sorta. I do not like that. That is very lazy. Especially when you've already created something. Let's just remirror it! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... That's not... Good... Programming. I mean, in a sense, you could just call this Dark World flip side, and that's essentially what it is. Thankfully, there isn't any Dark World 1-1 one, one, or Dark World 1-2. <laughs> Fair enough. We put the Pure Heart Pillar on that flop side pillar, and it makes a new door in the flip side tower. Hooray! I was kind of curious if you were going to get the one other major consequence of there being a flop side. But the fact you haven't gone, oh my god, yet means you may not have necessarily gotten it. Should I say it? I don't know. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. You remember the Pit of 100 Trials? Yeah. There is another Pit of 100 Trials. Okay, but it's the Pit of a Thousand Trials? It is the flop side pitch of 100 trials. What's the difference? It's harder. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that's just not surprising if it's recycled content, but okay, fine. What that means is we have to go through another hour and a half recording session, Evil Pop Tart. I'll just steal my other recording from the hour and a half session. <laughs> So Merle's being a butt. Right at this point in the game, I wanted to start the big side quest you get by talking to her, but she actually will not let you start the side quest for until after you start Chapter 5. What a butt.
I thought maybe if I return to flip side and then come back here, she'd let me start the side quest, but no, spoilers, no. That also, look at this guy. The hell is that? <laughs> He's called Wilderberg. <laughs> He's a plumber, too, because he makes pipes. So, you know all that effort we had to go through to get to Flopside? We had to go to that Sanctuary Miri Hall, and that's kind of sort of out of the way. Well, this guy does something really awesome for ya. For 300 coins, he will make a pipe between Flipside and Flopside that is much easier to access. And if you ask me, that's totally worth it. Yeah, I would agree. You basically never have to visit that Sanctuary ever again. Uh. <laughs> He's doing your job, Mario. What do you think? Maybe he's the one that installed all these pipes. Fuck Mario. Mario didn't do shit. It's this guy that installed all the pipes. <laughs> yep. Meatwad's more useful than you might think he is, isn't he? I was gonna call him Cheese Puff. He looks like a Cheese Puff, but he's got a man stash and a beard. He's got an epic beard at that, so I'll call him... Beard Puff. Beard puff. Also, Merlon, why aren't you in your house? God damn it. Fudge you. So at this point, I should have used the return pipe because it's faster than going up the tower's elevator, but I wasn't thinking about that. Up we go. <laughs> I don't like elevators that much anymore in this game. And remember this elevator goes sideways too? Instead of straight up? Mm -hmm. Who designed that? Either way, we find Merlon right at the Chapter 5 door, and I think they did that just so you couldn't enter Chapter 5 without Tippy. So... I can understand that. But still, I visited Merlon's house because I'm thinking, oh, I need to go pick up Tippy. Anyway. Oh, anyway. I just had a revelation. What did you have a revelation about? Uh, that something is something with something that I'll something you later with something. <laughs> Did you figure something out, but it's awfully spoilerly? Mm -hmm. Send it to me in a message on Skype in Rot... Oh, you don't have to send it in Rotten 13 if you just message me on Skype. Never mind. You just message me on Skype. But I can use code words instead and make it more interesting because the something with the something is the something which is something. Okay. <laughs> See? So here I am thinking maybe Morley will let me start that side quest now. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, nope. this is getting annoying. What the hell, really? And Tippy isn't helping. Ah, you're not helping. Gee, thanks, Tippy. Sigh. Uh, this must have been a point where I was just face palming. Why? Why? You wanna know what it means? It means when we start chapter five, the first five minutes will have to be forced commentary. Because yes, I had really. to enter it, and it starts with like five frickin' cutscenes. Nice. Screw you, Merle. So like, Nobody likes you. Yeah. On the next episode. That's right. <laughs> That's after I use the return pipe after like this for seven frickin' cutscenes in uh chapter five. We'll visit those on the next episode. But it's time for a little bit of sticker star stock, because we're now going to get started on this uh, big giant side quest. <laughs>